Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Been sitting here looking at our town. It's it's really growing, isn't it? Yep, it's it's expanding. Um, let's see, what is today's plan? I'm gonna do a little catch up from last time. Our 15-year-old was living here. Ratslav is still living here at 15. Okay, I was under the impression that they aged far more than a year per year though that's not showing it now so maybe I'm wrong there let's see what uh, how old Ratslav is at the beginning of uh, at the end of this episode if I remember to do that we have sound we do about every other time I turn the game on the sounds not functioning so I don't know what's causing that but now I've learned to, to turn it on listen to the sound first and then restart if I need to um, let's see so we looked at Ratslav um, Field number six over here didn't get done last time. We talked about it. We're eventually going to have three on, three off of Sunflower through this area. So field number six, don't really know where it goes. Um, we stuck it out over here at one point. It's the furthest away you can get from, uh, uh, from the entrance right here. Almost would like to flip this thing so the entrance is down here. I, don't know, I guess no matter how you do it, something is further away can't get into this area what if i how can i see the orange squares of doom here let's grab a building there we go so if we got rid of these and did a field no that just doesn't work really all with this design all that i really have is out here unlike this one where we got rid of essentially this group and we're able to make it kind of symmetrical. Not going to be able to do it this time. Let's throw a field in just for when we get to that point next year. Um, question is, I guess we would leave a, an opening here. Yeah. So the easiest way to do that is to head down into here and count. Uh, let's go to four and let's leave some kind of an opening there. Now, let's get something that looks straight. And what did I say? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're about like that. Why does that not look right? My perspective is off, isn't it? Because that is four spaces. Okay. Yeah, that's fairly centered. And we'll head out to about 20. I think so over here will be fine. All right, so you are field number six, essentially. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. How do we want to do that? I just no, don't know what to do with the extra one hanging off on the side. It doesn't feel like it's part of the, the group there as far as changing the order. But that one will be... Let's pop that in there. You're... Well, you're kind of like right here, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to be out of sync with all the other ones. Well, eventually you will be Sunflower and something like Fallow there, but we'll figure out how to order that later. Active. So you're part of Wow, you're almost capable of being snuck in right now? You won't really produce anything, though. I don't know. I wonder what would happen. I wonder if any laborers would suddenly pop in. I have a feeling May, though, is at the end. It doesn't really tell me I'm out of planting season or anything. Although, if I did it like this, can't change during season. Deactivate. If I were to switch to Sunflower now, and then followed you, and then activate... Do we suddenly have labor positions? We don't. Okay. Now, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, um, Gen15 wrote in last episode with some decorating ideas of taking these triangular corners and fencing them in. So I went ahead between episodes and did something like that. And there's that thing, that pot over the fence post. Who can tell me what that means? I thought that meant that there was like a, a pregnancy or something, but it might. But then I got to thinking maybe it's just a new family moving in, but unless that's a newborn that has arrived, you know, a child has been born. These are the newest houses. There's one over here. We have a three year old. Unemployed, market stall, no hint of pregnancy. So what does that mean? What is that symbol? Or that, uh, what does that symbolize? It's, I want to say it's kind of an old European tradition. 
I've heard of it before, but I can't recall recently thinking about it. Um, also, between episodes, I went in and just touched up fences all over the place. Things that I really can't do in an episode because I spent 45 minutes just laying out the fences and, and kind of touching things up. What was that? Hmm. Weaver, cowshed, town hall, weaver, cowshed, weaver, cowshed. Was it just a house? Or did we put a building in? Ah, it was over here. You, tannery. Okay. Well, we'll leave you unoccupied at the moment. We do want to get into working on that. But what I did was I just kind of straightened up our roads. So they'll come, instead of just cutting right through the middle, they're going to actually have to go all the way to here to go diagonal across there now. So we might even take a fence off of this guy and move it over until it lines up with this so the roads continue to... Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll kind of sculpt the roads as we go. Um, I went through the little openings and put smaller arches over it so we can get a more concentrated road down the center. These these avenues are just too big. So kind of cleaned up all the little edges and this and that. Well, I'll do more of that as the series goes on. Just kind of a little bit here, a little bit there. Like this center here. I really don't know what to do in here right now. i got to wait for this building to get built, which is clear back over there, so it's going to be a while. And maybe by then the code will be changed to where we're allowed to delete wells. That'd be nice to get that out of the middle and kind of put them around the perimeters. But, um, let's see, looking down at my notes, I got some more benches in between episodes. Again, those little uh, details that take a lot of time to straighten and get just in the right spot and plan it out, figure out where to put them. And I actually had somebody sitting right there. No, it was sitting right here. This is the one they like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've not been over here. Um, we are May stalled. That means what? Can I find wood? Why? Because they're just off going to get it. We're running at slow speed right now while I'm kind of catching up with things. Um, we've got all of these turned on. Don't really need to worry about slow speed. Everything is planted. That did not happen. Okay. All right, so that's not going to happen. So I don't think I need to really be concerned about much. Let's kick the speed up to full speed. Um, there weren't any yellow city marks over here. Nope, so no one's offering a trade deal for us. Uh, we're throwing in a cow shed real quick. <clears throat> but are we maintaining basics? We have fish coming in. We got no fish, fish stored. Over here. 14 fish. Someone's moved it all, the way, all into here. Okay, that's good. Um, right there, 19 thatch. We're going to use a lot of thatch with this run. Uh, nails. Not going to get many nails if we keep popping in and out of out of workers here. Hmm. Messenger from. Ooh, that's the one I want to. So you back down. Baladia. Is that a K? Balaklia? Balaklia. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> you guys have steel, don't you? Iron, that's what I want, iron. I didn't buy any more iron because I wanted to get that supply tent moved. That was right here in the way of this building. So I had to get it gone. I didn't know if I bought more iron, if they would dump it into here or if they would just leave it over here or if they would haul it over here. So because that was an unknown, until we get back to zero again, they're not going to go pick up more iron. So wherever it was going to get stuck, it was going to be stuck for a while. So I didn't buy it. But you guys want to sell us flour, cow, iron. Iron is probably about all that I would want. And I would probably want 10. And it's 12 per. So that's a little expensive. Okay. And we could sell them potatoes. What is our potato inventory right now? No potato is showing up there at all. That's worrisome. Okay, over here. We have no potato stored up there at all. Over here, we have five potatoes. Well, we have 9.8. I knocked it down to five thinking they would take the 4.8 and put it back into the food stalls. So potato over here, none. Potato over here, none. Ooh, I'm a little... Uh, worried about that. How's our general budget doing? 
we have exported 120 and we're 70 to the good so we've lost 50 for the year so we're still going behind us a little or going down just a little bit local sales are certainly helping we are in may last time we did 735 we're closing in on half of that coming into june so we're, we're about even with what we did last year so i need something to sell and i really don't have anything to sell so let's just bring in a smaller load of iron i was going to bring in 10 iron but i don't want to blow 120 out of the budget so let's just bring in five for now and because they seem to work in increments of five over at the smithy so let's bring that in and we're going to see that drop by sixty dollars or sixty sixty funds and it didn't yet probably happen when we actually take possession of it all right well that was that um yeah we're hurting on a lot of things because we're waiting for these crops to come in we've got what one two three potato crops coming in um we've got a couple of hemp crops and some wheat and then we've got one two three four sunflower next year we're going to be able to do a huge amount of trading but not this year okay so this year we've got to eat by so let's get toward next year a little bit quicker there was a noise okay weaver's shop let's slow down again think about that do we transition everything over to here kind of thinking so what are you guys doing right now we've got almost no hemp in there anymore and almost no textile so because of that we've shut down the workers um hemp nothing hemp nothing yeah we're about done so yeah we could shut this all down how is that done not this this i don't hit demolish while the farm is up um because i can't remove a market stall until everything's been emptied out of it this is not employed and it's not like they've come in and taken all the stuff out of it hmm how is that done well let's put in a worker can you get a guy by random chance cannot okay who might be able to haul bigger quantities out and we're running at slow speed if i had demolish what's going to happen it lit up boom it's over there what does that say? Demolishing. Okay. Oh, reserve. They're hauling them out. Okay. Well, that's how it's done. The weaver's going away. And just make sure I do have the same. Yep. Yeah, it is a weaver over here. All right. So you are awaiting hemp. She's going to go pick up some things. Okay. Well, let leave her employed until this transition completes. Then that can go away. The tailor could also go away. It could. It could come over in this area too. Can it fit? in this area here at all I'm trying to figure out what to do with this we could make some kind of a city park over here but the tailor right there you are what and spin you around there's your front can you sit across from this in any way that works place occupied you do fit right here at this end see that that orange box of doom just won't let us interact with the other orange box is a doom, so I can't even get it right up here along the road where it is... No, this is uneven terrain, but right there it doesn't. I could kind of sneak it in like that, or right here. Or right here. It's not till here that I can. I don't know if I like that. Okay, how about over here? We could try to get that front along this roadway. like that that's kind of functional hmm I feel like I'm making a definite border to the town by facing everything in that direction should he be like right here I'm not I don't know that I'm willing to end the town right there that's what it's starting to, to feel like you'd be like this or you'd be at the end of the road this eventually will re realign the fences so this road comes straight across to here. So you could be at the T. Okay. Like that. Hmm. Okay, I like that. 
Problem is, I need to see it from two different angles. And now I can't tell if I'm centered on the road in order to see this alignment. Yeah, that's kind of rough. Um, how could I accomplish that? How can I make a grid mark in here? What if we put up a fence that paralleled? Can I do it? Looks like it parallels too long. Oh, okay. The fence in front of the houses. We can't use the... I didn't realize that the lines were in the green in time to base the house, the, the, the town off of that. So now I've got to... Does that look pretty parallel? I think so. What's the furthest that I can go? Right there? Hmm. I'm going to go with that. Okay. So with that as a parallel, let's... That didn't help me. That didn't help me. Um, oh well, let's just try to place this thing. See, this is the sort of stuff that I was doing before the episode started, where I could just take my time and not worry about... Uh, actually, I could do it this way. About how long it was taking me to, to do it. It's so hard. I guess I can kind of go there. problem is the fence has the shadow built into it. And so you don't have a clear, crisp line to go by. Not that I can actually get it parallel to begin with, so in that case... Okay, I can see the fence, the, the porch post. That kind of works. Okay, so that porch post out. Let's see, I want to be middle of my screen. I like that. There's the shadow to it. All right, we'll do something like that. Somewhere over here. And that extends over it. Hopefully that worked. Curious. So that means he's right there. So his stairs actually step down into it. Okay. I need to back it up a little bit. Um, let me look at it this way. Okay, that's there. That is the same place. So if I were to put a fence... Let's throw this fence away. Easier said than done. Hello. There you are. Demolish. Let's fence. Now, if I click this, will that go away? It will. So, bring you back to here. Actually, a little bit closer. I like. Okay, parallel, not from the shadows. I guess the shadows would be consistent, too. So about like that. Okay, you demolish. And you go back in. There. Oh, it's, everything's in shadows. There's a lot of contrast. That's why it's so hard to, to really see it. And centered to the road coming out this way. Something like that. Alright, I'm going to go with that. Now, can I grab a hold of this? There you are. Demolish. And demolish. Okay, that was painful. Um, you're there. You're being demolished. Okay. And you're being built. In fact, I kind of want you going by the end of this season. But I want the cows by the end of the season, too. And I want all these by the end. <laughs> end of this season too. <laughs> okay, we better get to the end of this season. Now, what were you? No worker unload. Whoa. Um, pause. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. So, what's the chance I can get two guys to jump in there? Not very good, huh? Alright, I need to uh, facilitate this. We've got one in the nails. We don't touch him. You, no... You, no. Thatch is doing good, though. Yeah, we can get rid of you. I'm not touching the fish, unless I have no choice. So what else is left? We can go back to two ladies in there, maybe. And nobody's employed there. That can actually be demolished. Um, all right, we'll give this just a little bit more time. Nothing. Okay, then let's shut all these down. Here they are. Pause 
all of you guys temporarily. They'll have to finish the, the routine that they're already set to, and then they will jump into that position. Though it may take them a while to actually get there. By then we may lose this cartload. All right, with that, what have we got? That's the problem. I still not having enough people in town to, to leave them employed no matter what. All right, do we have a timer? I got... Yep, it's too late. Okay, let's just leave one of you in there. All right, so you continue... Continue uh, those right there for now. Okay. Turn back on. What else do we shut down? We shut down this. Let's... Two ladies, and what if the laborers do the uh, the heavy hauling? How's that sound? And we'll go back to that system. I keep going back and forth because they keep being, you know, not working. They keep uh, being too frustrating without enough people to do the job. Okay. What are we needing to accomplish now? Other than just sitting back and enjoying this. It's a wonderful game. I really like the uh, uh, the graphics and the way it, the way it's done. There's the birds. Okay, from down here, fishing is happening, and we've lost some some fishermen. Mm hmm. Still have you. We got rid of you. And let's see, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. We can do what we have in the building queue with that. Now that was a, take you to two speed. We'll do it that way. That was this. All right, so let's make this one happen. Now you, we no longer have any fields associated with the cow sheds. We're just using fallow and that's fine. This one, you got 13 in there. Let's put a bowl. Hmm, let's get the youngest ones. Though I'm I'm going to guess they don't breed until they've hit the one year mark. So we put one 11 month old bull in here. And cows two years old. We'll do a couple of you in there. Um, I'm going to guess, I don't know, that the more bulls there are, the faster the reproduction happens in the, you know, in general. So that makes sense. Two bulls and four cows would make twice as many babies as one bull and two cows. So we'll, we'll work with that theory. Um, over here we have a bull in one year. I do want to see the, the process of, of slaughtering. If we were to do this, would I actually... Oop, the, okay, they like that job. So let's head into here, take it down to one. Mark this older one for slaughter. Otherwise, let's get... I'm going to mark the older cow for slaughter. Just because... Well, I'll do three of them. Because I want to get more than just a half of side of beef in here. I want to get enough to where we can see it start to distribute throughout the uh, the economy. Boy, that looks funny. It should have been turned a little bit more, huh? Oh, well. There is a giant rat chewing through my studio door right now. My cat has decided that he wants in. And he's going to scratch and gnaw at the bottom of the door until I finally get over there and let him in. <laughs> but I don't dare because he likes to jump up on the desk and knock things over. I have no idea what I'm doing. You, I need a couple of workers. That would be very helpful. And you two will start to bring the supplies in. And you're down to nine. You're going to be... Oh. Did it happen? Did I miss it? Are you at the bottom? No, I already missed one. Really? You are going to go get it. But it's already been checked off. Hmm. Now let's speed it up. So you're going to go get a cow. I'm going to bring it in. And bring you up. Awaiting one hide and a half of beef. And... There they are, and they're already being reserved to be taken somewhere else. And you're going to get another one. Okay, so take you down, and let's just see what our results are. And that we've got hay over here, finally. It's working. Um, hey, we have some milk. 
Wow. So all that's going to happen. We're going to be down to 7 in here. Let's move one baby cow into there as well. So we're at 3. Baby cow didn't happen. So maybe it takes a while for this to be transferred over. Or it didn't work. Grab you, put you right in there. Okay, we're at six and still three. So I guess there is a transition phase. I just got to go through and recalculate. So with that, I'm wondering if we can't get by with one worker in each. If we keep the herd down low. Now, you have been making hides and beef. You need to go get those hides so we can see this happen. Once that's done, we still still don't have a a uh, shoe or shoe maker's workshop. That was thought about for here, and actually it wouldn't happen because this counts as an object right now. If I can find the hitbox right there, we have one clay, meaning each of these are half a clay. So when you see a cart rolling by with with two. Uh, tubs of clay in it, then uh, bushels or what have you, this still counts as a one. So the guys haul one in the cart, and that's a one. Anyway, it's an object, and I couldn't put that thing here, which got me thinking about making the funny star fence park thingy. I did put some trees in here, though, so once they grow up, this won't look so funny. But I couldn't have put it there anyway. So where the, the hides are here, not the hides, the... Let me find the description here. Taylor produces cloth from, no, tannery produces leather. That's the word I want. So the leather is made there. Where do we want to process that leather? Realistically, I mean, efficiency wise, it should be like right here, but it doesn't have to be. It could be over here too. Hey, we have a pathway starting to form. Nice. It could well be in a place like this or this. That's kind of interesting. Can we sneak it in alongside that? If we turned you around to like though, like like so. Uneven. No, you will not let me do it. Could go over here. Could go could go in here. Spin you around. That's a possibility. Okay. Now I just want to make sure it's not hiding in this queue. That's the tailor. In the town hall, okay. So if he were to go into this area, and see, parallel is pretty much there compared to this one down here. Yeah. I just want to make sure that. Oh, we got to go one more. Let's see. Turn you again. Like so. That's probably a little bit better. Now, parallel. That's still pretty good. And I want you out of the path. How far down can I go and hit, not hit uneven? We're okay there. So the pathway, looking at this guy over here. So we're going to widen this up a bit. Actually, we're going to come off of this fence here. Okay, so the pathway is about there. I guess something like that. All right, that'll work. That one, it would be nice to get into this episode too before it all ends. Okay, you got done. You're the new tailor shop, which we don't have any messenger from. Okay, let's slow you back down. We don't have any any textiles made, so it's no point in doing anything with this just yet. But this is the new center for weaving around this farm, which is going to make all the hemp. So that works, and the people who are going to actually work there, theoretically. So that means this guy can go away too. We don't need two of them. So demolish you. Those textiles should start going away. You hop into here. Okay. And don't have to have that done first, though. Let's get these done first. And which house are you? You're that house. Where is... This is this one? I'm clicking. Right there. Let's take you to there and continue you. Get these guys built. Get this guy built. And speed back up. No, I want to see what the messenger was. Messenger, we're here. One more chance. Yeah, they're saying... Hello? Not there. You're over here. Okay. They're wanting to sell us hemp and wheat. 
Hmm. Normally I would say no, but that hemp run through our system would finally create the clothes that would be sold in our shops, which would bring us more income. Hemp's going to cost us... Oh, it's ten. I was hoping it was eight. Hmm. Let's try that. I'm curious. Well, where are we? July? We're not going to have hemp until November, December, January, when the crops finally get hauled back into the farms. That's a long way away. Let's do five. Let's do that. You're going to come into here. Let's experiment. We're at 570-ish. Still at that 50 mark. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to be 520 when this is done. Or 520. So if we can remain, say, over 500 by the end of the year by producing that hemp into textile, into clothes, or into cloth, and then clothes, and which is our tailor there, dumped into the market stalls there and here and sold to the people to increase the local sales beyond the 735 of last year we're we're heading for what is that 850 this year because we're in July hmm that's what's going to save us that's that's what's going to stabilize the, the economy of the town and the local sales the trade sales are probably going to come in bursts probably not going to be trustworthy some years we'll have lots some years we'll have little or none in fact some years we may be buying instead of selling so we do need to get our local sales solidified and having a constant uh, textile and clothes come in having a whole beef industry to keep the uh, the shoes Go, uh, selling in the markets and to get all the sunflower oil going and selling in the markets all of those will give us a huge boost as well as the potatoes and the fish and the flour and all that um speaking of flour wheat is only at eight yeah so we're fine with one worker there um we're building a house i see the river they're doing it right now how are the roads being created over here hmm how do we want to do that do you want to i think we want to fence over and fence up and kind of create this yeah not sure what was that oh we demolished okay so what does that mean you are a pile of textiles you are a pile of textiles okay so if I were to get somebody over here they would actually start hauling that just ooh, perfect although I could set you for worker by labor by cart and get that in even faster Although, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because there's less than a whole one over there. Alright, that house just went in. Um, I wanted to check on... Ratslav. Still 15 years old. Okay, I'm confused now. It was about this time last year, wasn't it, that we noticed... I wonder if they just kind of hit a peak and don't grow anymore. Hmm. I guess we'd have a whole bunch of 15-year-olds then. Alright... Let's see. Full of hay water. Five cows. Full of hay water. Got some milk. Five cows. Okay, we've evened out. All ten should be in there at the moment. Cows being generic for four-legged walkie thingies. Um, farm. Everything seems happy for this harvest coming in. Over here, we're going to start harvesting in August. Oh, we're there. Slow it down, and um, I just got to think of myself and else too. I wanted to make sure I knew what was happening here. Tannery, uh, stored, two leather and one hide. So we are doing the job. We only had three hides available, so we're going to get three leather. So shoes are going to be over here. All right. Anyway, I wanted to go back to the idea that if we hired five people here, and five people here for the season of doing the work would we let's see we've kind of spread that labor out though would we get this done on a more constant um, 
pattern rather than the hit and miss with laborers? Do they want the worker positions more so than they want the laborer positions? That was over here. All right. I also wanted to see this happen. All right. That works good there. And sets you to labor by cart. It's going to happen only once. Um, two should make... Where are you at? Here. Three leather. All right. You don't need to be there anymore because we're out of hides. You guys, slaughterhouse. You don't need to be there anymore. We're not doing any more slaughtering. That helps to fill these slots a little bit better. There and there. Okay. What else do we need or not need? You. We're fine on that still. You. We still need lots of nails and we're still in and out. That's kind of frustrating. Um, do have two guys there. Wood, though, is being taken as fast as they can make it. Over here, Taylor's Workshop. We are making the textile. Um, this was a biggie. Let's put you in. Did this arrive yet? This filled immediately. And... Did this happen? No active deals. What am I missing here? You... Hemp. The hemp arrived. It worked. Okay. Take one of you down. We'll try and leave one in there at all, at all times. 5-5. Uh, five, five. We're still... I guess I could do that. And that will release the potatoes. Although now we got potatoes coming in, so I don't need to worry about it. But I wanted to release the potatoes so we can get them out into the, into the, the stalls. There's almost no potato out here. None. Though we're going to get some now that we've released it ah okay so in that case let's put the pota potato back in no it still counts hmm and we have another messenger so that might be a good one too um I'll leave that out for now we'll deal with that again later you are wanting to sell us what dried fish salt and lime we don't have any shoes to sell you yet but this would be interesting another similar experiment to this one. Alright, we've sold that much. Are we going to see a big boost in here? The dried fish, they should sell to them as well, and it will also be a, uh, um, a boost to the local sales slot right here, or line item. Do I want to deal with it this time, though? We, we already have the one experiment going. I think I'll leave it at that. Maybe next year we'll bring in some of that. But we need to set this back up to labor by cart get that hemp over here Taylor no wrong one here labor by cart get all that hemp over here get it processed though I'm not gonna be able to do much of that because I really need well we do have enough in there now and we have enough in there now okay that should be plenty to get the job done let's open you up a little bit least two and hopefully a laborer does show up there's there's a definite position open for that what if we did that let the five do the job I'd be curious to see if they could do the job and that would free up the labor positions for everything else like keeping the you know, the nails and the carpenters in stock well we're doing it though we are starting to get a bigger population that is helping we're at 86 now um, let me just glance through everything right now, make sure everything's fine for next episode, because I do need to shut this down. Uh, the tannery, we're picking up leather, okay? We're using leather, that's right, I've wanted to see this happen, and it's happening. So, reserve, shoes, awaiting leather, shoes, we'll have to look at this next time, and see how much leather it takes to make shoes, but you are are going off to get some shoes good and that's leather uh labor by cart and you shoes you're awaiting some and you you're awaiting some so we're going to start to get these things out into the system by december i'm hoping we will have sold many of those the shoes and the the uh clothes so let's look at this one more time we are, that's well, kind of hard to say now, August, September, October, November, December, so two-thirds. That's still in that 850 range. 
at what we're selling right now. So if we end up well above the 850 range, then I would have to believe that a lot of these, what I'll call luxury items, sold at the last minute, and that's what boosted our budget up. So we'll see where that lands when it's all done. But I think I'd better shut this one down. Um, any other notes? There is one. I'm going to be, well, as soon as RimWorld Alpha 18 releases, it's in beta testing right now through Steam. You can, uh, if you if you got the game in Steam, you can go over to uh, your properties in beta and, and choose it and uh, play with Alpha 18 already. When that does come out for real, I'm going to start up a series for the channel. And that'll be the first game I've had in a while where I could rename uh, characters after subscribers and patrons. So the original Crash Landing survivors are going to be uh, patrons that have uh, signed up for the, uh, the option of uh, being a, a named character in a series. So they'll be the ones that are Crash Landing onto whatever planet we, we crash onto. So if you guys want to be part of that, there'll be a, you know, a little, I think it's like an I right up in here somewhere. You can click on, it'll take you to a, the Patreon page that will have an article you can read about, you know, to get more details about that. But otherwise, I think we're going to call this one done. We'll bring in the harvest next time. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.